Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Thursday, 31st of March, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, CPL finals slated for Guyana. And in our feature for this evening, TC Immortals takes championship trophy in road, really. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. My name is Kathy. Um, I like to work out because it's a part of my lifestyle. I like to come in the morning. I like to get fit or stay fit. That is what I really like to do and what I really enjoy. It's a stress release, it's getting away aggression. Fit for me is having energy. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. Australia's semi-final clash with the West Indies at the Women's Cricket World Cup was rocked by devastating scenes after Anissa Mohamed went down with a hamstring injury. The West Indies vice-captain came into the match under scrutiny after some subpar performances in the group stage. However, the veteran was deemed worth the risk and was picked to play the do-or-die clash on Wednesday. Mohamed came back into the team after spinner Afi Fletcher was ruled out due to COVID-19, but the call backfired brutally. Mohamed conceded all of 20 runs from two overs before she went down in agony while feeling. The windy star stayed down and clutched at her hamstring while attempting to feel the ball on the boundary. She was taken from the field on a medicab, with team officials announcing she would take no further part in the match. Fans were left gutted for the 33-year-old veteran with fears that her international career will now come to an end. Meanwhile, the Heroes Caribbean Premier League CPL Finals will be hosted by Guyana for the next three years, starting this year, 2022. This is the first time the Heroes CPL Final will be held in Guyana, and this long-term staging agreement will see the culmination of the tournament also taking place in Guyana in 2023 and 2024. This season, Guyana will host seven group games, three knockout matches, and the Hero CPL final, which will take place on Friday, 30th September, at the Guyana National Stadium in Providence. The Hero CPL final will be the climax of the festivities surrounding these games taking place in Guyana. The government of Guyana, in collaboration with the local private sector, will also stage two weeks of events, which will form a cricket carnival. This carnival will celebrate the best that Guyana has to offer, showcasing the music, the food, the culture of this vibrant and fascinating country. Over the previous nine seasons of Hero CPL, there has been massive support for the tournament from Guyanese fans, and the tournament is expecting significant excitement at the prospect of these hugely important matches taking place in the country. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. About this television, yo, I tell you about this television. This is the biggest and the baddest television. Remember, yo, Nevis Television, Mr. Kinnan said, pick up something, anything. Nevis Television said, run, run with it. Well, I'm back, and tonight, athletics is in the spotlight. The now annual Half Island Road Relay, which was sponsored in the main by platinum sponsor First Federal Credit Union, was held on Saturday, 26 March. The athletes started at Brickland with a warm send-off by Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams at about 6.30 a.m. Let's take in this update with Chief Coordinator Sheila James. Hi, I'm Sheila James, Coordinator of the SKM Moves Nevis Chapter, here to talk about the follow-on or the post events of our first event of this year, 2022, the Half Island Road First Federal Cup Challenge. Sponsored by First Federal, we had nine explosive teams that took off at 6.20 a.m. on Saturday, the 26th of March, and ran the Half Island in typical style. The first place winner was TC Mortals. They came in at 55 minutes. I mean, that's incredible. We're talking a half island from Brickhill through to Butler's, through to Father Girls, through to Hanley's Road, Brown Hill Gap, and the finish at the Well Fitness Grounds. So we're really impressed. Congratulations to TC Mortals. 
In second place was the SKN Defence Force. They came in exactly an hour after starting. And of course, Beast Fit. They came in an hour and 10 minutes. The following teams in order came in Easterns, GSS Panthers, Alexandra Warriors, Nevlek A, Information Tech, and Nevlek B. I want to say a special, massive thank you to all our athletes. Nine explosive teams, <clears throat> and they actually did what they set out to do. Create records. 55 minutes. Can you imagine that? So next year it's going to be bigger and better because we want somebody to come out and beat TC more because that's the challenge now. You've got 12 months to get yourself ready for that event. I want to say a special thank you to all my sponsors because without our sponsors we would not be able to have these spectacular events that we're putting out. So I want to say a special thank you to our platinum sponsors, First Federal Credit Union, our gold sponsors, Timothy Keynes and Associates Limited. I want to say a special thank you to all the additional sponsors. That would include the Needless Equestrian Centre for first place. Second place was uh, Queen City ATV Adventures. Um, third place, the Hills and Valleys Hike Tours. We had some spectacular prizes and everyone deserved them. We had handouts and giveaways from First Federal Credit Union. I've got to say a special thank you to all our partners as well. We've got Fit Wellness on board, at the Red Cross and Best Buy, and of course, Nevis Spring Waters. We needed to be completely hydrated for the day because it was a hot sunny day and they were there and they served. I want to say a special thank you to Health Promotion Unit, to the Youth and Sports team, and of course the Red Cross team for being there and supporting the event as they do every year without fuss or worry. And what can I say? We, this is the first of the first of five events. The second event's coming up in April. That's Saturday the 16th. It's an Easter break for the children, eight to 12 year olds. We're working in association with the Nevis Aquatic Center and the event will take place over Awali Bay. Stay tuned for further information. We'll have a press conference to talk about that in more detail in due time. So thank you for supporting us, everybody out there, particularly the, the Nevis Island Administration, the Honourable Hazel Brandy Williams, who actually started the race in the morning. It was an early start for her. We appreciate her being there. Special thank you to Shalisa Martin Clark, our Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, who came and stepped in for the Alexandra Warriors. We really appreciate you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Third place with a record time of one hour and ten minutes. Beast fit. Well done, guys. Who's going to come and collect? Third place. Third place. Beast Fit Tariq. No, no. Can I ask, Mr. Sergeant, can you come forward, please? Okay, so you will also receive the cup from First Federal Credit Union, our platinum sponsors, and you'll also get a prize from Mr. Sergeant. Sorry, Mr. Webb. I do apologise because I think there was two names on the na on the list. Valleys Hike and Tours. You can present it now, yeah. Okay, you ready? Second prize? No. That's second, yeah. In second place, with a record time of exactly one hour, SKN Defence Force. You'll be presented with a second place trophy from Platinum Sponsors, First Federal Credit Union, presented to you by Miss Shauna Daniels. Also, Mr. Keynes, are you available? 
Our goal sponsor also has a prize for our second place. Can you wait on Mr. Defence Force? Can you wait a minute? Okay, second, second prize, gold sponsor, Mr. Timothy Keynes of Timothy Keynes Associates and Limited will present you with a prize for your team of $100 each. Congratulations. And finally, the big one, in first place with a record time of 55 minutes. TC Immortals, can you come forward for your winning trophy? Presented to you by Miss Shauna Daniels of First Federal Credit Union, our platinum sponsor. And you will also get a prize of a horse riding experience from Nevis Equestrian Centre. Who present the second prize, which is Queen City ATV Adventures. Could you please give a round of applause to all, um, each of our sponsors, a pin and a thank you card. So to our ambassadors, Miss Jeanette Grell Hull MH and David Walwyn. And David Walwyn. Okay, I think he's sending something else. You, you need to go and get your... <laughs> Platinum sponsor, Miss Makisa Alochlin. Are you collecting for her, Shauna? Thank you. Gold sponsor, Mr. Timothy Keynes. <laughs> We have one for Erica Gilbert. I don't know if there's anyone here representing Nevis Equestrian, but if not, we'll get the pin to her. That's not a problem. To Mr. England's team, Queen City Adventures, Mr. Paris. You forgot to give them the cards. Junior. Thank you. Oh, there's two there. Okay, so okay. Oh, do you know that's your voice? I'm looking for the pins, the cards. That's for the so that's your show on there. Okay. Okay, and finally, Mr. Webb, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.